Hey, what's up everyone? This is Faust, and this is Faust Talks. So, I recently, while playing 40k, recently, I started up a crusade, doing the new narrative rules that we have over at, that we have in 9th edition. Yeah, 9th edition is kind of at its end, but... I haven't done a crusade with this. Yeah, there's usually like crusade packs and stuff I've done in like 7th edition, like 6th and 7th edition, but with 8th and 9th, haven't touched crusades. <coughs> so, we just started up last week on Saturday. So a few days ago, we started up doing a crusade. So it's one I pretty much threw together right now. Currently, there is three Eldar players. There's one Orc player and three Marine players. <laughs> White Scars, Dark Angels, that's me, and Grey Knights, a new, a new player. Really new. The guy literally just bought, uh, was at the game store. Somebody was getting rid of their Grey Knights. He saw the box of like about uh, 1,500 points worth of Grey Knights for like 200 bucks. He jumped on that shit and bought it. To tell you the fact is that if I would have saw that shit, I would have probably bought it myself too. But I haven't paid attention to his, um, yeah, to the consignment stuff that he has at the store. Yeah, so our local game store and the owner, what he does with it. The owner we're going to call uh, Big Boy Big. Because <laughs> literally the motherfucker is big but in in all three ways so okay so we started the crusade it was it, it was me it was the dark the gray knights and the white scars we were there at first most of the other people they did not come for some reason hell the whole store was dead it was usually there's like three to four times more people there, but the store was dead, dead. We had one of the elder players come. He was uh, looking for a game, looking to play with us. But what happened with him was his roommate. <clears throat> like I, I call roommate because I don't know their relationship. Because the roommate is a... Oh. A transgendered woman. So, I really don't know this person at all. But the Dark Angels player... <laughs> well, no, I, sorry. The Eldar player. This Eldar player is a older gentleman. Let's say in the 70s. He's been playing... 40k longer than most of most of the people around has been alive <laughs> he's been playing that long he has lot he has like all the eldar every eldar model that has ever been put out since rogue trader all the way to now so he has all the eldar he can play anything eldar he has enough to run almost any El army of eldar so he knows a lot about the game, knows a lot about the lore, has all the stuff, and just keeps playing. Nothing wrong with him. He's a pretty cool, pretty cool older fellow, which I actually enjoy his company and enjoy talking to him. Because, yeah, he's an older player, but he's a chill guy, really chill guy. So it comes with his roommate. His roommate wants to uh, play some card game. I don't know what the what it is. It's it's a dead card game that wasn't that good. The elder player had all the stuff ready. Nobody wanted to play with his roommate. Uh, roommate. So uh, the roommate was actually kind of a little bit upset about that, and then the roommate wanted to leave with uh, with the with the older guy. With the elder player. Let's call the elder player. Yeah. 
pretty much he's he's like the old kind of like the old far seeker the old uh the old wizard yeah let, let's call him the old wizard <laughs> because the, the fucker does kind of look like an old wizard it's kind of funny so the old wizard and his roommate roommate didn't want to uh didn't want to stay any longer and it left so i was actually going to uh get a game with the with the old wizard after we did our campaign game uh, because the old wizard didn't know about the campaign so I told him about that he's interested in joining and all the different things so he's down so we got one more so that should be a total of what four Eldar players <clears throat> alright but anyways so there's about ten people in the crusade only four of them showed up only four of them showed up. So with that, it was the orcs, the snake bite orcs, and the white scars versus me, the dark angels, and the gray knight companion. The gray knight's a pretty new fellow, trying to learn how to play, having fun. He's understanding the rules, understanding the tactics, seeing what's happening. Uh, pretty smart younger fellow. Well, I wouldn't say younger. Well, he is younger than me. He's younger than most of the people there. But a uh, pr pretty sharp lad. Seriously, straight up. He's a sharp lad. And has a great attitude, so I do enjoy that. <clears throat> and then with the... So with the game, what happened was we rolled the relic. <coughs> for the campaign, we were doing an incursion. So it was about 2,000 points versus 2,000 points. And since it was a a map, the incursion, an incursion map instead of a strike force map. So we did the, we did the incursion map, but I gave everyone uh, five points, not five CP. You don't gain any more, that's all you have. That's all you can use, you got your five CP. They, and the story of the crusade so far. So after, after the White Scars, the White Scars are actually hunting down a demon prince who attacked, who led a small war band to attack, to attack one of the settlements of, of the White Scars. So this is a this is a, a second founding White Scars successor chapter who are chasing down this demon prince to the system of Muni and they landed on the planet of Grimgor 6 Grim, Glamgor Glamgor 6 the Dark Angels they the Dark Angels, which is a successor chapter that I am running. I'm running with the name of the Winged Blades of Kelhound. So they are the Winged Blades of Kelhound. I have a captain, I a librarian, who is on the side. They all have names, but I have everything all written down. I, I'm going to make a, a little bit more in-depth video when I get home. Okay, so with that, they're, okay, the Dark Angels, they're actually there because they got words and they got the, the right from Azrael, from the Dark Angels, to hunt down some uh, relics that they will have the honor of possessing and, like, maintaining and keeping of these relics to, uh, to the Dark Angels, relics of the lion. Relics of the first that they have the honor of finding and and having under their their care. <clears throat> so they were told it was going to be it was in the in the sector of Muni and in the system of well in the sector of Muni. So they were listening to all this different stuff and then they have they had uh, heard some information from the of the Eldar, some uh, communications that they were able to pick up that the, the relics are there. So they go to uh, 
or like the relics are in the system of well it's in the muni sector but it's in the system of of glam gore so they know what's there and then they saw some eldar activity on glam gore 6 so they decided to investigate that they go down and then they make plan to fall the gray knights were working with an inquisitor and inquisitor uh, found a lot of chaos chaos activity this inquisitor is part of the mortal malleus and they were pretty much uh, summoned by the inquisitor and they're working with the inquisitor to go hunt down this uh the chaos activity and the demon and there's a demon prince there so they're down there and that's the reason why they're there so what happens is that when both the Dark Angels and Inquisitor and the Great and the Great Knights meet up. They see each other. They they communicate with each other, and then they're going to work with each other. So they're going to help them find their their relics. And while the same thing is that they're going to help uh, the Great Knights take out uh, demons in exchange for that help. So, with that information happening, is, yeah, just speeding up a little bit, just so I can get around a little, little clump. Is with that information and that knowledge right there, is that now, now they're working together. So with the with the white scars, they land, and there are orcs on the planet. The orcs were already there way before any of us got there. So the planet, we don't know too much about the planet, and the orcs were already there. So it is a uh, it's snakebite orcs, but it's pretty much the guys almost running them like they're freebooters. Okay, so they do have a weird boy who is one of the head, one of the heads of them all. So the weird boy goes down and then uh, sees the dark angel or sees the the white scars. Pretty much casts a spell or something over them that where they see the other marines is their chaos marines. So they see the chaos could be working with the demon prince. So they pretty much launch an attack. So they pretty much launched an attack and they start attacking the gray, the gray knights and the dark angels. And then the orcs see the fighting. So the orcs are just chilling, watching the fighting that's happening. And then they pretty much third party us. And since it's like, okay, there's orcs right there, or there's uh, these marines that are being attacked by other marines, we'll jump in and we'll, we'll, uh, crush the big group and then after the group of like after their crush we'll crush the uh, rest of the beakies kind of thing so they're there and we're playing the relic so kind of like a three way relic fight so the orcs are able to grab the relic first and then after they grab the relic well the guy had to leave uh, for work so we're going to run it as like they grab the relic the orcs grab the relic and the orcs are uh pretty much grabbed it and they ran away the the battles pretty much ended up as a tie so pretty much everyone gets a win but the orcs ended up uh, winning more than anyone else because they got a relic a special relic that i'm going to make some rules for i'm going to make it kind of i was thinking about is hey this is a staff a staff that gives an aura a feel no pain of yeah, of a feel no pain, five up feel no pain, six inches away from, from the area, only a psychic unit can use it. So a psychic unit can use it. Use it. And then uh, pretty much after the orcs left, what the story is, is that the orcs left, and, and then uh, the psychic power that they put over the 
white scars started to fade. The white scars realized that they were attacking dark angels and gray knights. And they're like, oh shit. So pretty much they lay down their arms, surrender. And then they, they told him, hey, we're pretty much attacked by that. The dark uh, angel librarian saw, like, saw that they had some veil over them, the same as the Great Knights. <clears throat> but in the fight is... Is the uh, Great Knights, uh, Grandmaster and the Dread Knight. The Dread Knight was damaged, but it was able to be recovered. And the Grandmaster was able to be recovered also and didn't have to worry about anything because he wasn't hurt but the, the suit was damaged but it was able to be repaired uh, with no issues no problems so they're going to be able to run with no problems the what's that called the white scars they had a group of outriders that was taken down by the that was taken down by both of us, the Dark Angels and Grey Knights, but the Grey Knights got the final hit on it. So they're the one that finished off the unit. Uh, with using a super smite boom from the Grandmaster. And then it would go over to And then uh, they had a group of Vanguard veterans, the Vanguard veterans with jetpacks, shields, and uh, thunder hammers. So I took them out with my bike squad. My uh, Raven Wing bike squad went over there, tore them up. Boof, 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 boof. <clears throat> and then they also had like a little vehicle that I shot up and destroyed too. So they suffered some damage, they suffered some hits. But, uh, but none of them suffered any, uh, bat like battle scars, which was good. And then now that after that little fight happened, all the Imperium people see that, hey, we're, uh, we're all Imperium, we're all working together, is that the, the White Scars and, uh, and Grey Knights are going to be taking out some demons. Uh, we're looking for some relics, and so we're all going to be working together. So we're gonna, I'm going to help them all take out some demons, and then I'm also going to, uh, and they're also going to help me find some relics for my. That's from my chapter, and that relic that the orcs took is, I'm going to guess, is probably something from my chapter that they took, something, uh, a staff of the lion or some sort. Or not, not the staff of the lion, but a relic of the lion, the relic of the first that I, I'm saying is, hey, they took the orc stole from us, so they're going to help us grab that and return that to me. Yeah, and that's going to be kind of a nice little fun, like fun little things that are going in. So yeah, is pretty much everyone's doing the story right now, which I kind of like about the whole little thing but alrighty then guys I'm going to end this video this video here and then I'm actually going to go a little bit in, more into the story so thanks for watching like and subscribe and remember always love the cow lounge you all take care now